What's good, YouTube, man? It's your boy CJ, aka No Limit CJ. Welcome, welcome back to another video. Now, today, you guys see, bro, we got the top five best speed boost moves to use on FA2 Get 22 Next Gen. I'm gonna get you guys right because some people said, you know what I'm saying, you guys are trying to figure out how to get open, how to get open on your shots. This is basically another addition, bro, because speed boosting is a very important part. If you're out here dribbling slow, not in front of your defender, then basically you're gonna get stuck, you're gonna get boxed, you know what I'm saying? But I'm gonna get you guys right with the best moves to do to get open, get the separation you want, you know what I'm saying, to get an open shot just like it's easy to do. Before we start this video, man, make sure that like and subscribe, and if you're new, you know, we're on the road to 25k you know what i'm saying dang y'all in here right now i don't even know i was in here but um and make sure to hit the like and subscribe button if you knew like i said 25k on the way bro we're loading with that being said bro let me get straight to the drill moves so let me go to my player right my player animation and i'm gonna show you guys a deal so you guys see these are my drill moves right here i explained it more in my video you know what i'm saying my actual drill moves video but i'd say these are the best moves to do as far as getting open and getting a shot that you like so copy every single one of these moves bro i feel like each of these moves are very important in their own way you know what I'm, I'm explaining like it's more so i think Steph Curry, especially Steve Francis and Chris Paul. Those are like the three most important moves to speed boost. So you want to make sure you have these six on and uh, something similar. You know what I'm saying? Something similar. With that being said, bro, let's get straight to this. I'm gonna show you guys how I do all these moves. I'll show you guys five different versions on how to speed boost in this game. Let's get straight to it. And one more thing, these moves are very easy to do. So you know what I'm saying? It might take you a little bit longer than somebody else. You know what I'm saying? I don't think I'm racing each other to you know how to do it. But I think it's a very easy move to do. Just take your time with it. Let's get straight to it. So the curry slide, bro. We're gonna go with the curry slide speed boost real quick. You guys know they just added the curry slide recently. Um, it doesn't have to. It doesn't have to be the curry slide. If you guys don't have this move right here, um, you know what I'm saying? It doesn't have to necessarily be the curry slide. But I think it's the best example to make out of it. So the curry, you do a curry slide and you run straight out of it right gives you this animation right here you see that little speed boost dribble i got i think that might be more so a chris paul but like i got a speed boost like quick dribble out of it you know what i'm saying that let me keep going do a curry slide and then run straight out of it you don't want to hold a left stick while doing these like, these are all these moves you're gonna lose the left stick after the fact that you do the dribble move so curry slide run out you know what i'm saying it gives me that little burst out of there out of the little curry slide and i got an open shot all these moves i spend in the dribble sorry but i'm gonna show you guys like basically what to do though you know what i'm saying i'm not gonna leave you hanging out the controller came up all you're gonna do is do a curry slide right after you do the move after you do the move you're gonna just flip the left stick right straight out of it you know what I'm saying? If you do it during the same time, if you do it while you're doing the curry side, it's gonna give you this animation right here. It's very slow. You see the difference, right? Hold it the whole time, it gives you a slow animation. When you use it after, that little speed boost is very important, bro. It's gonna create even more space against your defender and you have an open shot to use. So I would definitely try to get this move down, master it, whatever that looks like for you, bro. You know what I'm saying? So make sure you incorporate the left stick after the fact that your move is done or maybe in the middle of it, actually. I think that even works too. But when you do it, you know what I'm saying? During it, like I said, it's gonna give you a slow dribble, bro. You ain't getting by no one, I ain't gonna lie, unless the curry side hits him. Now, the second move is going to be just the right stick only. It's, it's not like no, like, you know what I'm saying, signature move. All you're going to do, right, flip the right stick to the opposite ball hand um, up. Just like that, you guys see I'm doing it. If the ball is on my left hand, I'm going to flip the right stick to the uh, top right, and I get this move right here. All you're going to do is aim for this move, right? Once you get that move, you want to run out of it. You know what I'm saying? Once the ball hits the ground, right, you want to hit it and then run straight out of it. You know what I'm saying? So you that speed boost right there. You guys might see me do this move a lot at the top of the key, especially to confuse my defender and get by them. It's very, very, it's not even easy to guard, bro. Very simple, but it's one of the hardest moves to guard. Because you might expect someone to go over here and shoot that thing. So you run up and stop holding RT to like stop running. And you're going to do it. They might do it again. You know what I'm saying? Come back up to the top of the key to an open shot. So really, I think it just depends on your positioning, what shot you have. And you know what I'm saying? Just like that. So, I mean, it is an energy taxer if you do it over and over again. You know what I'm saying? But you guys see, bro. Very easy move to do, even off a pick, bro. If you got a pick right in the middle, right? You do a pick. You know what I'm saying? If the center picks up, you go back that way. Open shot. You feel what I'm saying? You can really just cook up however that looks like for you. But just add this in your, you know what I'm saying? Your your combos, whatever the case may be. Your speed boost bag. Yeah, that's the word. Speed boost bag. Yeah. <laughs> but um, you know what I'm saying? That's that's how you do this move right here. Very simple. Once you get it, you're gonna be like, oh, that move's easy. You know what I'm saying? You got an open shot dang near a lot of the time unless someone's playing size. The fourth move is gonna be this through the legs move right here. It's pretty much the same thing as the first one, actually, but it's a lot more easier to do. All you're gonna do is flip the right stick instead of the last you said the last move right instead of that you're gonna flip the right stick just through your legs like to the straight left or the right so the ball's on my right hand you're gonna flick it straight to the left and it's gonna give you this little through the legs right here right basically like the kobe move you can get with the steve francis move right you get it through the legs you run straight out of it as a speed boost move right there i love to do this move a lot i feel like it's more confusing than the um what's it called the long cross one but you know what i'm saying both of them work just as well like i said you get a speed boost move out of both of them bro you got an open shot dang near a lot of the time all you gotta do to keep it simple you know basically just do what you did last time but if some of y'all skip you know what i'm saying some of y'all be skipping my videos i feel like I, I get it i get it but uh all i'm gonna do Put the right stick through the legs, bro, to the other hand, and you're gonna run straight out of it. That's it. That's literally it. You don't wanna hold RT or R2 and left stick until you do the through the legs. As you do the through the legs, you're running straight out of it. You know what I'm saying? You get a little speed boost just like that, just like that. You feel what I'm saying? Just simple as that. You got an open shot. You know what I'm saying? You can really cook up with that thing, bro, and go crazy. 
Now the fifth and final one, bro, I gotta say is my Isaiah Thomas. This is probably the most controversial one because it's, it's it's misdirectional. You know what I'm saying? You can even just tap L2 and do this move right here. You know what I'm saying? You can just combo up. But the thing about it is your defender doesn't know where you're gonna go. So let's say you're in the middle of doing it, right? You know what I'm saying? I go whatever way. I got a speed boost move right out of it. Very very broken. And I feel like you just never know which way the defender's gonna go unless you like clearly can you know what I'm saying guess and you're playing sides or something. It's really hard to tell where the defender's going. All you gotta do is hold R2, you know what I'm saying, flick the right stick up, you know what I'm saying? It's gonna give you this low signature combo right there. Or you could just tap LT. But I prefer doing that so it's like muscle memory. R2 right stick up, I and mean, whichever way you wanna go, you just run straight out of it. So if I wanna go to the right, I, so I go like that, right? And I run straight to the right, it gives me a speed boost crossover. It's not just a speed boost run out, but it gives you a nice speed boost cross, to be honest with you. I feel like it's it's a lot of guessing where that ball is gonna be, you know what I'm saying? At the right bait in time, once you see the ball in the right hand that you want though you want to spoof it out of it that's what my recommendation would be if i'm going like that you know right the ball's in my right hand now boom i'm straight out of it you know what i'm saying so you got to be a little aware very fast dribble step but you got to be a little aware you know what i'm saying what you're doing you got to open shot dang near a lot of the time you can go crazy with this the speed boost it gives you is really insane bro i feel like i feel like these moves bro once you learn these moves bro all five of these moves you're gonna go absolutely crazy this season bro these are brand new dang near to the game so i got you guys with the five best speed boost moves to use after season seven just drops if you guys want the best badges for season seven bro put this video right here you need these badges to use as far as season seven goes. I'm gonna see y'all there. Let's get it, man.